Ever since Jonah Hill decided to be more private in order to better his mental health and deal with his anxiety, many assumed that not much was going on in the star's life. However, nothing could be further from the truth. Not only has Jonah found love, but it seems like he is also engaged and expecting his first child with his girlfriend, Olivia Miller. It is unclear how Jonah Hill and Olivia Miller first met. In August 2022, the two were spotted kissing on a beach in Malibu. At the time, nobody knew who the mysterious brunette was, and Miller's identity was only found out a month later. In September, the lovebirds were seen spending time together in Santa Barbara. The pair appeared to be on a road trip since they were photographed standing beside a camper. What a romantic setting. The couple has kept their relationship very private, so much so that they haven't done any public appearances together. In fact, Jonah and Olivia haven't even officially confirmed they are an item. It is no surprise that the lovebirds have decided to stay under the radar since only two weeks before they were seen together, Jonah had opened up about his need to be out of the public eye. In 2022, Hill released his Netflix documentary, Stutz, which delves into the actor's personal and mental health struggles with the help of his therapist, Phil Stutz. According to Jonah, the film's purpose is to give therapy and the tools he has learned in it to a wide audience. The film deals with some difficult events in the star's life, like the loss of his three-year-old brother, which happened when Jonah was only nine. Sadly, the family had to deal with tragedy again in 2017 when Jordan Feldstein, another of the actor's siblings, died suddenly at the age of 40. In the documentary, Hill revealed that he went to Stutz's office after he found out about the loss. According to the performer, it was the most intense day of my life, the most shook up I've ever been. While Jonah was in Phil's office, the therapist asked to take a picture of him. In the documentary, Hill asks Stutz why he did that. The therapist responds, it is very rare in life you get a chance to record something at the climactic, most important moment. He then explained that when you come back to it sometime later, you can experience the forces of healing. The two then looked at the picture. Phil described it saying, that's the picture of somebody who's gone through hell and came out the other side, and it's really okay. That's a picture of victory even though it might not look like it. Hill and Strutz also dealt with the actor's body image issues. The actor opened up about growing overweight and how he struggled with his physique. Jonah explained that, although it might not seem like a big deal from the outside, for me personally, it is intensely f***ed up. Struggling with his physique was one of the main reasons Hill started seeing a therapist. At one point in the documentary, Stutz pulled out a cardboard cutout of the actor's 14-year-old self. Jonah explained that he used to believe that once he'd succeeded, all the painful memories of his teenage self would disappear. However, once he got famous, fans in the media began commenting on his weight. When success didn't cure any of that stuff, it made me beyond depressed. The Wolf of Wall Street performer has previously addressed the media's criticism. When shirtless photos of him were published, Jonah confessed that he had probably never gone into a pool shirtless until he was in his mid-30s, and he used to keep his shirt on even when he was with family and friends. Probably would have happened sooner if my childhood insecurities weren't exacerbated by years of public mockery about my body by press and interviewers, he added. Later on, the star asked his fans to please not comment on his body, not even to compliment him. Good or bad, I want to politely let you know it's not helpful and doesn't feel good. Much respect, Hill wrote in an Instagram post. It seems like Jonah's time in therapy has been very helpful, so much that it helped him make a crucial decision regarding the film's promotion and his own mental health. Before releasing the documentary, Jonah wrote an open letter to his fans where he explained that he wouldn't do any promotion. Hill revealed that the film was set to premiere at a prestigious festival. However, he wouldn't make an appearance and wouldn't talk to the press in an effort to protect myself. Jonah confessed that he has experienced panic attacks for nearly 20 years. He then explained that these attacks are exacerbated by media appearances and public facing events. If I made myself sicker by going out there and promoting it, I wouldn't be acting true to myself or to the film, Hill added. The actor wrote that he knew he was privileged because unlike many others, he wouldn't lose his job while working on his anxiety. Through his actions, he wants to make these struggles more normal for people to talk about and act on. As part of his stance on self-care, Jonah also deleted his social media accounts, which he hasn't reopened since. Hill's relationship with Miller seems to have begun around the time the performer wrote the open letter, so it's no secret why he's chosen to keep things so private. And by taking a look at Olivia's life, it looks like she'd rather be out of the spotlight as well. Miller is no stranger to the celebrity world. She is the daughter of model Esme Marshall. Her sister Rachel has followed in the modeling footsteps, while Olivia prefers to stay under the radar. Although she doesn't model, Miller has also chosen a career in fashion. She and her sister own an online clothing store where they sell vintage and sustainable brands. 
Rachel and Olivia seem to have a very close bond, with Rachel sometimes uploading pictures of the two to her Instagram page. On the other hand, Olivia has private social media and rarely makes public appearances, so it seems like in that regard, she and Jonah are a perfect match. As much as the couple likes their privacy, some things just can't stay hidden forever. In March 2023, the two were seen shopping at a children's store. Soon after, Olivia was spotted with a baby bump. The entrepreneur was also wearing what looks like an engagement ring. Neither Jonah nor Olivia has made any official announcements, and their representatives have not replied to media outlets' requests for comments. Do you think they are engaged, or is this just a big misunderstanding? The actor has been engaged once before. In 2018, rumors began that he was dating art director and stylist Jonah Santos, and in 2019, Hill allegedly proposed. However, a year later, the couple called off their engagement. They never revealed the reason for the split, although at the time, outlets reported that it was amicable. The end of the relationship gave the actor some time to open up about his life. In a later interview with GQ Style, Jonah confessed that he had been too focused on success and needed to grow as a person. The star then hit pause and focused on personal goals, like achieving his dream of becoming a director. He wrote and directed the film Mid-90s. After Jonah, the star dated surfer Sarah Brady, even making the relationship Instagram official. The pair also attended a premiere in matching outfits, so it was clearly a very different time in Jonah's life. The two never announced they had broken up. In fact, many took the pictures of Jonah and Olivia kissing as the official confirmation. Jonah doesn't talk much about his relationships, although he has revealed that fame has been a big reason he didn't settle down earlier. In an interview with The Guardian, Hill confessed that he would have focused on family if he hadn't been an actor. It is hard for me to focus on relationships with my job, he added. Although it seems like the actor has struggled with romances in his past, it looks like Jonah has finally found someone to settle down with. Although we might never get an official confirmation the couple are engaged, here at Rumor Juice, we wish Jonah and Olivia a happy life together and applaud the actor's bravery for working toward improving his mental health. Be well and be kind.